the CLS 250 CDI has been with us for uh, six months now and 10,000 miles. Just to recap, this is the sport model of the, uh, of the Mercedes CLS, which is sort of a Mercedes four-door coupe, if you like. It's heavily based on the E-Class. And this has the four-cylinder engine, which is very interesting, 201 horsepower. And one of our missions with this car was to see whether you can live with a four-cylinder diesel engine in a car this big, or whether you really need to go to the six-cylinder diesel. The list price of this car is £49,000 and with a few options on it, it's got, it runs to £55,000. One of the most expensive options, in fact, is Mercedes £2,000 driver assistance package, which includes proximity sensors, a lane assistance package, and also blind spot mirrors. And to be honest with you, we haven't really used many of those here so far, and we, it would be a shame, in fact, that we can't just have the blind spot mirrors for a much cheaper price. And of course, this car does compare unfavorably on price with our Jaguar XF, which we also have in the car park which is around about £40,000. However, Mercedes definitely gets it back on quality. So the CLS is expensive, but I think inside you kind of see where the money goes compared to, say, to a Jaguar XF. It's considerably better fit and finish. The buttons are fantastic. The quality of the workmanship is fantastic. It's a really comfortable, lovely interior and also quite costing too. I really love the driving position. And in fact, you know, everyone on, on the team is all different shapes and sizes, and no one has a fault with the driving position at all, which I think is a, is a testament to the, the comfort levels of this car. Also, even after quite hard use, there's no even hint of a squeak or a rattle, and everything seems to be perfectly well finished. And to be perfectly honest, from where we're sitting at the moment, it looks like it could go on for another 100,000 miles without causing any trouble at all. The Merc's not just about quality, though. I'm finding the functionality of this car really good. I love the Mercedes' control system, the rotary knob's fantastically easy to use and it also lets you, lets you play with the infotainment system on the move and you can really, I've got to the point now where I don't even really have to take my eyes off the road to, to use it. I love all the steering wheel controls, the controls are easy, all the dials are really visible. It just feels like a fantastically good place to be. So how about that four cylinder engine? Well, to be honest with you, after the last 10,000 miles I've got very few complaints at all. My one complaint is it's maybe a little too noisy around town and certainly the same sort of engine from, say, BMW and Audi is slightly quieter, I would say. But everywhere else, it's really terrific, terrific engine and more than enough for a car like this. It's got a great stop-start system, for, which is, uh, reacts extremely quickly when you, when you start up again, just like this, in fact. It's also extremely quiet when you get to extra urban and motorway speeds. But the best thing about this engine is the economy. Even though this car spends a huge amount of time in London, I'm still getting 44 mpg and when you go on a long motorway run you can do a lot better than that as well. In fact the other day I did a 200 mile motorway trip, I averaged 70 miles per hour and I got 50.5 mpg which I think for a car of this size of this class is absolutely fantastic. In fact that's the sole justification really for going for the four cylinder engine. There is no need whatsoever to buy a six cylinder diesel CLS. That the economy of the four-cylinder, the performance of the four-cylinder, and the tax advantage of four-cylinder, I think, really, there is absolutely no reason to get the, the bigger engine. It's just a waste of money. The rest of the CLS's driving experience is really top-notch as well. I'm, I'm having really good fun with this car on back roads. It's heavily based on E-Class, but to be honest with you, it feels considerably different to drive. It's a lot sharper, the steering feels a lot better, and the handling feels a lot better. If you really like, you know, attacking bends and things, this really is a good car. I wouldn't say though it's quite as sharp as a BMW 5 Series or a Jaguar XF for that matter. However, in certain circumstances, I'd say it probably rides better than both of them. And it certainly rides better around town than a Jaguar XF. Now, one of the things that might put you off a CLS is the fact it's only got four seats. In line with the sort of coupe-like feel of this car, there's two individual rear seats separated by this sort of storage area here. Personally, I think it makes the car look good. I think it makes the car look considerably more glamorous. And in fact, once you're in the car, despite what it looks like from the outside, there's actually plenty of room. However, you know, the fact is, if you do want that extra practicality, you're really gonna have to go for an E-Class. Personally, this fits into my life perfectly, so I don't need the extra seat, but if you do, there really is no option for the CLS. One feature of the CLS I haven't found myself using at all, in fact, is the voice activation. The voice activation can, um, control audio controls and particularly sat nav controls. I have used it a couple of times with sat nav to, um, to press the button and put the address in but to be perfectly honest 
it's still a bit laborious and a bit slow to do it. And you just feel a little bit silly talking to your sat nav when you could easily just do it using the rotary controller down here. So the verdict so far after six months and 10,000 miles, this really is a terrific executive car. It's good looking, great to drive and extremely economical. And also cost free so far, we haven't had to spend a penny on it. In fact, I don't think we're going to have to spend a penny on it until it needs a service in around 5,000 miles time. But you'll have to come back to whatcar.com for more updates.